you show up, put your hand up if you're shocked. So Dan, how many of you, according to verse 12, have been buried with him in baptism, wherein also you are risen with him through faith of the operation of God and who has raised him from the dead. So you gave your heart to Jesus, fine. But after giving your heart to Jesus, how many of you can say, yes, Pastor, I was buried with him? I was buried with Jesus in baptism. And through faith I have been risen with him. God has worked in my life. The same, the same God who raised Jesus from the dead has raised me. What does it mean to be buried with Jesus in baptism? Many of us, we believe we are baptized, aren't we? But how do you be buried with him in baptism? The word baptism comes from a Greek word, baptizo. And baptizo means immersed. When we were kids, we were baptized. Because we were sprinkled water over us. We, we poured water over our head in the basin. But that baptism gave us not what this baptism Paul is talking about will give us. When you're dead to your sin, you cannot be buried by just putting or soil on your head. You need to be buried. And when you're buried with Jesus, then there is something that will happen when you come out of that waters of baptism. When you step out of the waters, you are stepping out with the covenant which God made with Jesus and Jesus has made with you. What was that covenant? The covenant is that grave will not hold you. You are resurrected and you will be alive forevermore. That is what immersion with being buried with Jesus and then being resurrected with him will do for you. That is the beginning of the covenant. Some of us have been baptized but we never understood what we were doing. We did it because everybody said we got to do it. We did it because I saw others do it. We did it because we were forced to do it. But don't be baptized without understanding what baptism is going to do for you because if you understand and then do what baptism talks about, then you see the benefit of what it will bring. Because baptism is not a tradition, it is not a ritual. It is not part and parcel of you become, becoming a Christian. It is not something you do because it's cool, yeah? Let's do it, others are doing it. Baptism is not something you do at your own convenience. But baptism is something that will put you in a covenant with Jesus for eternity. Heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will not pass away. He said it. 